watching us so far. And you're going to be hearing us, I believe, for the rest of Top 8. Probably, yeah. Yep. So if, if you don't like us, I'm, I'm really sorry. Well, we, we try our best. My deepest apologies. But frankly, frankly, there's nothing you can do about it. So either you can leave the stream, don't do that. Wait, no, 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 no. Or you can mute us or listen to us. Wait, listen to I us. Want, I would Follow me on Twitter. They don't have to do that. That's not an obligation. I'm nice. I mean, it'll be I nice. mean, I'm nice. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow Dan Lagar on Twitter as well. Is that how you say that, Dan Lagar? You, you, you're good, only about it, but jumping oh. into the set that we have in front of us Zelda right versus now. Wolf. I love this. Mm -hmm. I love this. Uh, these two players fight quite a bit at Aeon. Uh -huh. And Dillington had made it all the way to Winners Finals. I believe Justin the seed was projected to. Yes. Um, here's run, obviously, best Zelda main in the state of New York. One of the better Zelda mains out there for sure. Um, and he has been pretty chilling it as of late, doing real well with Aeon, so pretty well with Zeno as well. Nice, extends the fair, kind of chips him up. However, though, um, Stocktaker, one of the few wolf mains left, um, and we've seen him play a bunch of characters, obviously, but he is one of the few that has stuck with the wolf. Um, many, of course, dropping his characters for others. And up air? Ooh, Ooh. And I don't even think that he traded. I just feel like his back could completely beat it out. Um, right now, it's not sitting at 111%. Um, this is definitely kill percent to any sort of super smash or uh, yeah. perhaps a back air. Um, so right now, you're just going to see Stock Ticket trying to build up the percent. I love the fact that Zero Tsunami Ooh, uses nice and I always love this because not only was it like a great style, but oh, it also reflected it, and that should be the kill, yes. I love the fact that he ah. didn't commit to anything like a back kill, which is just so drift dependent. He reacted, he waited, he was like, you know what, he's a high enough of a percent up tilt will kill. And this is so difficult for Wolf to get back against Zelda, but Stocktick did manage to do so by rolling oh. past the both of them. Oh, Seth, you're gonna laser? This is a fighting game. I'm gonna jump over your fireball and then kill you for it. Ah, love to see that. Nice frame test, though. Bye, yep. zero to nine, it's gonna be a combo. Just doing enough. 38% on each player here. Neighbors love out of parry, real solid. I think the uh, hitbox off in that move off my five, so very early. I'm getting uh, unable to get the tech chase, actually. I've got the down throw. Uh, Ooh, almost a confirm there for Scott Taker. A back air on the roll back from ledge. Kind of stuck on that platform there. Was zero to none. Oh, I love the, the positioning from Stock Taker actually just to opt for the platform like that because he knows that he doesn't have to run away if Zigotan opts for the beefy upbeat. And he also positions himself in such a way where he can react and punish to any upbeats back onto the stage. Yeah, and that's just as I was saying, he was able to run off and get the back air from the dropped shield. It was kind of bizarre there though, because I guess maybe trying to go for that early up yet a shield. Oh, it is frame six, so it is fast. Yep. But um one of those things about that is like, yeah, but you can always react. Like, you can always react to Zelda with your up you're going to go for it. So those early up Bs out of shield, kind of a little bit of a risky proposition there. And yeah, so Stock Taker, though, looking real good. Real, real good. A um, whole lot of extra credit here. Able to get the up oh, that's a punish! I really, really that's love that. That's the first time in my life I've ever said poor Zelda. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I'm not sure exactly what happened there. I don't know if you're able to DI out of it. I don't know if you're able to follow the DI. Mm. That's not something I'm entirely familiar with. But regardless, yeah. it did Miss not work out for the Ziggurat and, and Stock Ticker was just able to fast fall down smash yeah. and fall it. Due to the rage there, um, that's actually exactly why that happened. So it's harder to read the DI the more rage you have. And it is completely DI dependent on your read. And it kind of is a read. It's not a reaction. Okay. So, and Wolf obviously has a much, much, much better falling speed than Zelda does. So he can call him right back to the ground and the killer for you know a whiffed up B was obviously super duper laggy. Okay, the down throw into the nail instead of opting through the lightning kick, which is usually the go-to option. The nail yeah. being a multi-hitting move that's so active is just gonna cover one option. So I really love poke. that compromise from Zero Tanabe. And right now Zero Tanabe is able to effectively finish the falling forward on his shield with a nicely spaced down tilt. Nair's Hughes there, opts though to try and pressure out of shield afterward and get punished for it with the neighbor's love. Ooh, looking for a whole lot of strong buttons there. Uh, falling up air, not gonna be enough back air. Putting is your none in the lesser situation. That's gonna be an F tilt. Not gonna be that just yet, despite Zelda's lightweight. She's a little bit heavier in this game than she has been in previous uh, games. Uh, and that is something that Wolf is just so good at. And I love the way that Stop Ticker yeah. is using his lasers. I mean, the up smash definitely taking it out, but just the fact that Zero Tsunami can't build up his phantoms nearly as much as he would like to because he's constantly getting stuffed out with the Wolf lasers. And right now, this is going to be so difficult for Stop Ticker to make it back, but Zero Tsunami over committing to the Jinx fire and Stop Ticker shield. Skittle shield. Skittle shield. Um, oh my goodness. It's just disappearing. I am shocked it is not broken. Ooh. 
We can. Oh, I'm dead. Here's the thing. You have a reflector. Just react. You can't reflect it back. Not in time there. Yep. Oh, Fendo. You're a wolf. Abuse your advantage. Your advantages in this matchup. You definitely win. Well, I'm surprised that Zelda was able to grab him through the back here on oh, yeah. the shield. That it's... was nuts. But the up air Ooh. scooping him up and Star Shaker is seeing at a very, very Ooh, confident man. lead right now. A stock up only at 10%. And Zirutsunan, the way that Zirutsunan is positioned, his Phantom is brilliant because by fully charging it at the center of the stage like that, he is dictating where the next few new yeah, interactions are going to take place. I don't know where that was going to be. Uh, yeah, I don't know where that was earlier. Um, you have, like, yeah, it's one of those things where I understand, like, the idea is that, like, yeah, Zelda might be able to put it back. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, that, that's the exact situation you mentioned earlier, where he doesn't have to go for an aerial because it's drift dependent in the punish, and uh, ends up missing it that time around instead of going for a cleanup so for a cleanup smash. And I'm surprised that the Phantom actually didn't get reflected back, but regardless of the stock ticker, didn't get hit, so it worked out for him anyways, able to get back onto stage. And right now, both of them are just, like, playing around Ooh. each other's shields, like, kind of uh, yeah, there it is. Almost dead. Um. And that ah, oh, missing the out of shield punish. Not entirely sure that he was thinking of because like um. Uh, that's game. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate there. A little bit of a mistangle. I like the idea. Going high there, going to low is really hard to cover for any character. And uh, while Wolf can two frame, actually I don't know. She's teleport recovery. She can't get two frame from above the light. Um, teleport recoveries are a little bit difficult. Uh, when you Zelda, when you contesting Zeldas, it's a little bit difficult because if she does space, it would be VIP properly. No, right. But there, but there, I'm saying because she teleports from a bubble edge, I'm pretty sure this mechanic is the same as it was in Smash 4. You actually um, don't get, uh, you can't get two frame. Can't get two frame from a teleport. Yeah, from above the ledge. If you if you start your teleport above the ledge. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty positive that's still the case. Um, was well, certainly the case in Smash 4, and then he's putting his attempting for there. Misses angle a little bit, cost him the game. Satsuki though was pretty dominant otherwise, and he is now up 2 2 nothing on 0 2 none. Um, this wolf has looked incredibly solid. Incredibly so. Okay, now Zuritsu not trying to dash in to get something Ooh. started with an aggressive option. Right but Stock Ticker is just like perfectly ready, toiling with his own grab. Right now Zuritsu not rolling in, maybe trying to catch a whiff, but Stock Ticker is just like staying one step ahead of all of Zuritsu not's aggressive options. Zuritsu not has to find a way to like still back up the percent without being overly aggressive, which sounds like a contradiction within itself, yeah. but so difficult. Really unexpected. Oh! Similar situation to last game, that last stock. Other way around, uh, just kind of underestimating the distance there does Stock Taker, and it costs him. Um, big time, you had a huge lead. Now you have to play down against Zelda. Huh. No! You don't want that. <laughs> Zero, it's not asserting a bigger and bigger lead for himself, just exploiting the fact that Wolf struggles to get back onto stage. Really, really great f -tilt just pushing him out. This is going to be super hard for Zero to not come back, and he did grab. Yep. That move is wonky. And that not move just is that, dummy but wonky. Zero to not really should not have dropped down too much. Like yeah, that's how I see. But, like, it makes no sense how you have to DI that move. Because it seems like you always get hit by the same hitbox, and yet sometimes it sends you so straight out, and sometimes it sends you straight up. I will never understand what a dash attack is. And that is why this is a move. It is insane. It is a great first stop. And I love uh, the fact that Zuitsunan was actually shielding behind the Ooh. Phantom, because by doing so, he's just going to make it so much difficult for the stock to yeah. actually grab him through it. Um, so really, really great awareness from Zuitsunan there, making the most out of his head. Oh, has that read twice now, it just whiffs. Yeah, I think he released a down smash <laughs> a little bit too early, and Zelda was able to roll right through it. Really smart for uh, Zuitsunan not to tech there and set up for the jump, make sure he won't get tech chased. Nice. Confirms, baby. Sour dash tech. It's up here. That move gets everything. That move yeah. kills. That move. Oh, that is a strong dash tech as well. Not going to be stood up just yet. Dash tech from behind. Great reaction by Zero to None. But that's why you have to be careful with reflecting. If you reflect, you have to kind of just react to the Phantom. And that's going to be soft, though. Out of shield, up smash super fast. Poor Zelda. One of her faster out of shield options outside of up E. The up smash bringing it right back. And right now, Zero Tenon is trying to get something started with the falling. Nairo's loves, but Stock Tiku just yeah. sitting so patiently in shield, unable to get the tech chase there. Getting the down throw into lightning oh, kick. Okay. And the soft lightning kick just dropping him below the ledge. I mean, that that neighbor was, well, was ready for the jump in. Yeah. It was 100% ready for the jump in. Would have absolutely. Uh, oh, you dead? Zelda's yes. so right. 
You're the soul light. And he abused the fact that the one part where like Zelda's vulnerable while using Nyla's love is the head. It's right above. 